moving next week. And uh, Holy shit. Yeah, so I, I got all kinds of crap going on. But you know what? I mean, first and foremost is, is you look out for other Thames, man. That's what you're supposed to do. We're not going to agree on everything. And that's cool. I mean, you don't get into this. If we were all 100% fucking uniform, we'd be Sebco and watching our fucking ship sink year after year after year because we'd all be more concerned about trying to get the big trophy than uh, who's paying the bills and what the fuck are they doing. Right. Um, we ask questions. We right. don't, we don't, you know, we, we understand that we're Tim's and that, you know, we're not always going to get along. We're not going to see eye to eye. But for the most part, at the end of the day, we should look out for each other. No and question. No question. You know, we're lucky and blessed to have Paul Larkin come into the States and everything on his dime, you know, doing, you know, not, he's not looking for a fucking handout, but this is how much Celtic means to him. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if the club rewarded him by putting his goddamn book in a bookstore, but that's a whole nother argument for another day. Um, here's a guy who cares about the club and he's going to spread the name despite what the PLC does or doesn't do, despite what Mr. Lawwell does or doesn't do. He loves the club. He's loved them all his life, man. And he wants us to share that passion. And as such, he's coming over here, and I'm going to make sure that he's accounted for. You know, maybe we'll hit some cigar bars and do some martinis, and you know, we might end up at a nudie bar maybe once or twice. But well, I was going to say, uh, you know, he does like topless women. You know, just the <laughs> suggestion. Who does, man? Yeah, I mean, who does? you know, just 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 a just a tip. I mean, I he's been good enough to you know put me up when I've traveled over to Scotland twice. You know, so one thing that I do know is he definitely loves the topless women. Well, unlike Randy Andy, we'll make sure everybody's 18 and older, man. We don't have any issues or anything, so. Randy Andy. <laughs> Who needs that drama in their life, right? Very, don't very. Don't having to go back and be answering anything. Very good point. Absolutely. So, I mean, what are your expectations for the film? I mean, I haven't seen it, and it's deliberate that, I mean, I, I, I asked Paul early on, you know, hey, send us over a copy so I can see it, and, you know, and I, I sort of just stopped asking this was you know back in like sort of post-production uh before it was in the can so to speak i stopped asking just because i want to be surprised i want i, I want to have that first time sort of experience at the fela as well so i'm in the same boat as you in terms of like you know what's it going to be like what's it going to be similar to that i've seen in the past what are your expectations personally i uh i, I want i just i know he's done a good deal already man i just because i've heard people talking about it so it's a little bit of a spoiler there i haven't seen it i have no idea what to expect um i know he's done a good job with it. if it's got paul's name on uh, it it's quality uh and i and i know people will be out there to support it yep uh i, I just want him I, I just want the movie to address the the fraud the the, the total fucking fraud that they that that Rangers Sevco joke that that plays in Scotland and, and constantly tries to compare themselves to Celtic. I, I want everything that they did to kind of just be out there in the open, man. I want to I want to be able to sit there and say, you know what? There it is. Absolutely, he said what guys like Lowell wouldn't say because Lowell's more interested in protecting his fucking pocket and worried about the 10 million that he's not getting in because we haven't played Sevco in a couple of years. I want Paul to say all those things that the PLC are afraid to fucking say because they're more concerned about money. I want Paul's movie to know, I mean, to, to, to like, it speaks to us, man. We still won, man. Yep. We still won. It's just reaffirmation, brother. I mean, it's like to, to, just put it out there so it's undeniably true that even the dumbest hun can look at that and say, you know what? We fucking cheated. We cheated. And this is why. It's to, to make it as black and white and as simplistic as possible so that there's not any shadow of a doubt that what Sevco did, what Rangers did before they became Sevco, puts the light on the roaches and shows that what they did to get that nine in a row was fraud. It was a, it was a scam. And that they cheated, and that they don't have any fucking right to claim to ever be playing in the SPL or SPFL now. The fucking call. I want that to be evident. I want that to be apparent and and unquestionable. That's my expectation of it, man. Yeah, amen. And I, I, I just I, I cannot wait. I mean, because 
like you said, I mean, it's got Paul's name on it. We, we've come to expect the, the level that, uh, you know, that, that Paul Larkin attains every time with all of his books and the audio books. And he's, he's constantly evolving, but keeping that same level of quality throughout. And, you know, from all of the, the reviews and, you know, the, uh, you know, just the stories of the folks that have attended at the, you know, the CSCs and, and elsewhere. I mean, I just, I, I cannot wait. I mean, I'm bursting into the seams for, you know, to, to see the film and for the weekend generally. I mean, you know, give us a sense, you know, you talked about the events that are going on this year for for the Fela. Give us a sense for what the atmosphere is like. I mean, you know, you, you mentioned the Real Madrid friendly from a couple of years ago where Celtic came over, uh, yeah. played the friendly oh. and, uh, you know, everything else withstanding with the club not really, you know, paying attention to the supporters, not having any meetups, not having any merchandise for sale, so on. It's it's not even really about that. You know, at the end of the day, it would be, be, be really nice if we had that, but it's about the supporters. It's about well, the experience that we have amongst each other. Tell us about, you know, what the fail was like last year and what people can expect in terms of the experience. I mean, it was hype last year, man. I mean, it was fucking like... You know, this is a kind of atmosphere you couldn't probably get anywhere except in Glasgow, man. You're talking to places jam packed, people fucking partying, having a great time, man. You know, it's just you got dude out on the street playing a freaking guitar and people singing along with them, man. Cars just kind of driving around, there, everybody saying, I don't hit anybody. Cops not breaking anybody's balls. Like we're out there with beers and stuff, and they're like, just get on the sidewalk, guys. And we're singing all the Celtic songs and everything, and it's a fucking time of your life, man. In fact, I'd even say it would probably be better than Glasgow just because there isn't that sort of like hypersensitivity to quote unquote sectarianism, you know, which they label <laughs> they label any sort of support of Celtic as being sectarian, you know, I- even though they have no idea what sectarianism actually is. Yeah, I mean, you don't have you don't have any of that drama, man. People are just having a great fucking time. Right. That's what it's all about, man. Right. And it's just like I mean Last year, you know, everybody's there. You get people from, you know, as far away as Canada. You get them from as far away as down south, Georgia and all that, and South Carolina. I mean, you get all the boys from all over the place. And everybody's just getting together. And it's all about Celtic. And it's all about singing all the songs, man. Roll of Honor. Sing whatever the fuck you want. Nobody's asking. Cops don't give a shit. Maybe they might even sing a song, too. Who the fuck knows? Well, Paul has the story when he was up at... uh, uh... Finnegan's Wake uh, for the Manchester United Celtic friendly in 2004. Jesus Christ, that was over 10 years ago. Yeah. Anyway, he's standing outside of uh, Finnegan's Wake, and there's a cop there. And, you know, you hear Charlie and the boys inside playing the tunes and whatever. And, you know, it gets to the part of the song where it says, and we're all off the Dublin in the green. Fuck the queen. You know, and then the cop turns around and goes, they just say fuck the queen? He's like, yeah. He's like, I fucking hate the queen. You know, and this is a cop saying that. That's what I mean. You don't you don't get that kind of bullshit, man. I mean, we talked about it before at the Real Madrid match out in the parking lot and everything, and the cops see us out there. They're taking pictures with us. You know, they don't give a shit, man. There's no drama with that. And that's the beauty of the failures. You can let your hair down, man. You can have fun. Nobody's going to hassle you. You don't have to worry about no fucking offensive behavior or football act. Nobody's going to be calling you off and shit. No way, you know, getting you handcuffed or whatever, man. I mean, we're having a good time, man. This is fun. This is it's a blast. You you if you're anywhere near the East Coast, you gotta come down for the failing, man. It is a blast. Seriously, place is packed. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's singing. It's like a sword dick, dude. You can't beat it. Yes, that that paints quite the picture. <laughs> I usually try to be good with my metaphors and stuff, man. Here, let's try and let's try and segue out of that into something you know maybe less disturbing, maybe more. <laughs> Fat fuck Chris Christie. You brought him up a bit earlier. Big Dallas Cowboys fan, in spite of the fact that he's the governor of New Jersey, where the northern half of the state supports the New York Giants, the southern half supports the Philadelphia Eagles, chief yeah. rivals to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, list all the reasons why the Dallas Cowboys are America's hunts. Well, we can start with that. that fucking sham job refereeing deal against the Lions last week, how much of a fucking con that was. Definitely. It got, I mean, 
the, do you see the thing with Matt Stafford? He's yelling right after the, the one call. They say there's no pass interference, no nothing. They pick up the flag. Nobody's ever seen shit like that. Right? Fucking this is Jerry Bergman. He's the headlinesman. He's like the equivalent of Willie Collum in the NFL. Exactly. And, and he's like, oh, there's nothing, nothing, nothing to see here, man. And, and then Des Bryant, the, the the Dallas Cowboys wide receiver, Des Bryant walks out on the field without his helmet, which is an automatic 15 yard penalty. Nobody saw that. Nobody sure, saw right. that. Nobody called that. And no defensive holding, no pass interference, no out on the field arguing, no helmet off. They didn't see a fucking thing. It was like when I thought of Willie Collum, the, the one where uh, the one fucking match against Rangers where he called the, the, the penalty and he didn't see it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like. Good old Stephen the, Naismith. Yeah, what the fuck, man? And I'm sitting there. Here's this guy. He, I mean, it's like. He's like, oh, I picked up the flag, and the, the quarterback from the Lions started yelling at him, home cooking, home cooking. I mean, that's the call That's the call you, that Dallas gets all the time in Dallas because they're America's team. And America's Hunts. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. And I thought about this a little bit, you know, like when, when all that shit was going on. And there's a couple of Tims that, you know, we know like on social media and stuff that are Cowboys fans. And I'm like, you know what? I, I don't – I don't care if I'm hurting someone's feelings right now, man. I'm calling it like it is. I mean, let's 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 continue calling it like it is. Supporting the Dallas Cowboys and saying you're a Celtic supporter is sort of like saying you're a Chelsea supporter and you support Celtic. It, I mean, it just doesn't work. Total fucking conflict of interest there, man. It just doesn't and, work. and it's like how how I, whatever, man. It this fucking whole thing. Whenever Dallas plays, it's a goddamn sham. They're getting calls all the fucking time. They got a loud. They got a loud mouth owner. That oh, built that, yeah, that that oh, built you know plastic surgery and shit and, and built a two stuff. billion dollar stadium you know that they, their their supporters call themselves you know America's team I mean if there's if there's anything that could be exactly the same as we are the people sort of mentality I don't know what else is I mean Connection, man exactly. it's like weren't they supposed to be connected the Rangers at one time too this is supposed to like they're supposed to have like this sort of like business relationship or some shit i though. think that was after charles green got some bad acid but you know i mean for the purposes of of the conversation yes the, 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 some media sources did choose to pick that up yes the cowboys players are scumbags i mean they're like michael Irvin. remember he was all fucking driving into the, the badlands all looking to buy coke and shit and it's like hey you got larry allen he was like who can't even workers. spell coke oh man i mean just straight up scumbags. Like, get over yourselves already, man. Right. Hey, they're the worst goddamn team this side of Sepco, and it's not even close, man. Good. Well, so yeah, they they're they're two peas in a pot, bro. I mean, I like I don't know how Tim's could support the Cowboys. You grow up in Dallas, you need to find a better team or something, man. Good. I, well, I think that we've cleansed our minds of the image of of the sword dick uh, sort of uh, analogy. So good, we can move uh, past that Sevco. <laughs> They're now, I mean, they're circling the drain. I'd say it was about my dick, dude. Because, hey, whatever, it's just a fucking, it's all words, brother. Oh. All words. Don't paint a mental picture, hey? Right? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm glad that you clarified that. <laughs> so, Sevco are now, they're, they're circling the drain in a, a similar fashion to the now dead Rangers. Um, yeah. Have you begun stocking up on jelly and ice cream yet? I actually have not. I, uh, I, I'm not much a jelly and ice cream person anymore. Are you, I, are you uh, more into the jelly or jello, as we would say, or are you more of an ice cream guy? I should be a jello shots guy is mm. what I should be. Man. Yeah, you can't be a good jello shot. I much prefer to do jello shots as opposed to straight up jello or jelly or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Maybe we need to get John Joe to make like green and yellow jello shots. And then we can mix that with ice cream. We could do so jello, je- jello shots and ice cream when, when Sevco dies. Buckfast Jello shots, dude. Buckfast Jello, holy shit! I think we just found a fucking winner, dude. Oh my god, that's a great idea. Yo, bro. I mean, that's that's solid, man. John hey, that, Joe, get on this. We don't ask a lot, man. Just fucking. I'm not, that's going to take a lot of Buckfast. Remember the picture of the Buckfast truck and stuff? <laughs> I think we're going to need that parked out on Second and Market, man. Just pumping that shit right in. Yeah, that would go well with Philadelphia, definitely. <laughs> Park it right next to the Lenny Mobile. Now you know. I mean, so we talked about the first ever meeting with Sevco being, you know, ironically somehow coinciding with the the Fela weekend, the premiere of the Asterisk Years. Are yeah. you are you excited? Are you looking forward to it? Or are you kind of dreading it? It seems like the, the 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 there's two camps within the Celtic support. You know, some are like, oh God, I wish we we didn't have to play them. 
And then there's a much larger camp that's like, yes, can't wait to fucking, you know, pump these pricks. Why wouldn't you want to? I mean, this is like, dude, I don't, I don't get the whole mentality, man. Oh, I don't want to play them, you know, fuck them, let them die. This, fuck that, man. Anytime you get the chance to put the foot on their throat again, man, fucking do it. Pump them, pump them with a cactus. You flip the script, you don't think that they would want to fucking put the...